I'm Adventure Man Ron Spellman. Thanks for joining me as I fill my everyday life with adventure and show you how to do it too. You know, I often talk about how important it is to learn and cultivate new skills you can use on your adventures. Well, a few weeks ago, I got to pick up some new skills myself. I took a trip down to Alabama for a three-day field survival course with a company called Randall's Adventure and Training. I learned about building shelters, making fire, using a knife for just about anything, and most especially how to use a map and compass to find my way anywhere, anytime. So why don't you pull up a seat? I'll tell you all about it. The Randall's Adventure and Training website describes a field survival course as an aggressive immersion into the challenges of surviving with minimal gear in a field setting. They make no bones about the fact that this course is very physical and not for the faint of heart. The training facility is located on a 170 acre farm belonging to Jeff Randall, the founder of the company. There is a pistol and rifle range and lots and lots and lots of woods as well as a classroom building and even a rope rescue tower. The whole point of the course is to simulate a survival scenario, such as a plane crash or being stranded in a remote area. So the first thing the staff did was to PT the bejesus out of us. Starting at about 6 o'clock on Friday morning, they put us face down in the dirt. They made us crawl, do about a million push-ups, maybe two million sit-ups, carry a telephone pole, and then do overhead presses with it. After all that, we had to climb over a 20-foot berm covered in briars, carrying our lead instructor, Patrick Rollins, on a stretcher. And he is not a tiny man. By then we were pretty hot, so we got to cool off by running full speed across a nearby pond. In all, we had about two hours of these fun and games. Not all of us handled it as well as others. The whole point, though, was to teach us to keep pushing and to not give up no matter what. All this exercise was to make us feel the sheer exhaustion we would feel after a real disaster. Many times they told us, if we could crash you in a plane, we would. We can't, so this is the next best thing. This part was hard but it helped us bond as a team quickly and develop mental toughness right from the start. As the course name implies, this is a survival school. The PT portion was to teach us a survival mindset. Following that, there was a great deal of instruction on basic bushcraft and survival skills. These are skills that can be used almost anywhere outdoors. As you can hear from the background, I'm not exactly in the deep wilderness, but it's still easy to practice what I learned, even right under everyone else's nose. Jeff Randall's other company is SC Knives, one of the most premier survival knife companies in the world. This course is a great chance for him to showcase the quality of his knives, although I have to say he and his instructors don't really push their wares at all during this course. The students have ample opportunity to try the knives, and the blades speak for themselves. Of course, some of us had other brands of knives, so it was a good chance to compare them and put them all to the test. In fact, a knife was one of the few pieces of gear we were allowed to have on our person during the course, so we got to try our hands at all kinds of knife work. We made our own fires, built shelters for the handful of hours we got to sleep, and learned how to construct traps, snares, and even spears. In addition to depriving us of much sleep, the staff challenged us by giving us a minimum of food. We only got to eat about once a day. To say the ingredients were fresh is an understatement. Once again, we put our knives and fire building skills to work to prepare our meals. One day, we even had to kill and dress our own chickens. It wasn't much food for nine hungry men, but it was only three days, and we made it through. 
Another extremely important skill we learned was land navigation. At first we spent time in the classroom, but soon we were in the field with our maps and compasses, and even spent most of an entire night traveling from point to point through dense woods in the dark. Before long we found we had enough skill to be able to do even that confidently. The course also drove home the importance of mental focus and critical thinking ability despite the effects of serious fatigue. So we had to think outside the box to accomplish some unusual but plausible tasks. First, we built a cart for a 400 pound oil drum using two flat tires and some scrap pipe. Later, we each fashioned a pair of shoes from a piece of canvas. Early the next morning, we constructed a raft that had to carry a person with a simulated injury across a deep pond while simultaneously transporting fire on the same raft. Then, using only a few wooden beams and lots of ingenuity, we waded into a muddy bog to build a bridge that we then had to cross one by one. I was very lucky to be on a team with some natural engineers. Every one of our contraptions not only worked, but turned out to be really solid. On average, most of Randall's field survival classes have a dropout rate of about 20%. By the afternoon of the third day, not only had we successfully passed all the challenges the staff could throw at us, but we did it as a team and all nine of us graduated. We had all learned a strong survival mindset. As a memento of our experience, we each got a completion certificate and Randall's survival course patch. To sweeten the deal even more, Randall's includes a really special touch, one of their classic SE3 knives with an exclusive survival course logo. One of my favorite things about schools like this is that they bring together the best of people. Each one of these men is a good man and a true everyday adventurer. I'd also like to give sincere thanks to the Randall's Adventure Training staff, Patrick Rollins, Ruben Beaulieu, Ryan, Shane Adams, JD, and Jeff and Wendy Randall. This is such a unique school because of these really amazing people with adventure in their hearts. If you'd like to learn more about Randall's Adventure and Training and SE Knives, check out the link I provided in the description below. Also, be sure to check out all my adventures on YouTube at Adventure Man USA. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm Adventure Man, Ron Spellman. So long for now.